Welcome to the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Base. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create simple queries using the query wizard, select fields, set the sorting order of the fields, and provide search criteria or conditions for a query. Let us first learn what a query is. A query can be used to get specific information from a database. In other words, we can query the database for some data that matches a given criteria. For example, let us consider our familiar library database example. We have stored information about books and members in our library database. Now we can query the library database for all the members of the library or we can query the database for all the books that are not in the library. Let us see how we can create a simple query using base. Our example is to list all the members of the library along with their phone numbers. We are in the library database. You probably know how to open this by now. Let us click on the queries icon on the left panel. On the right panel we see three options. Since we are creating a simple query first, we will choose an easy and fast method. And that is by using a query wizard. For creating complex queries, Base provides us with very handy options such as Create Query in Design View and Create Query in SQL view, which we will learn about later. For now, let us click on Use Wizard to create query. Now we see a pop-up window that says Query Wizard on the top. On the left, we see 8 steps that we will go through. We are in step 1. Field Selection On the right side, we will see a drop-down box underneath the label Tables. This is where we will select the source of the data that we need from this query. Since our example query is about getting a list of all the members of the library, we will click on the Tables members from the drop-down box. Now, let us double-click on the name field. In the available fields list, on the left and move it to the list box on the right. Next, let us click on the phone field on the left and move it to the right. Note that to move all the fields to the right, we can use the double arrow button that points to the right. Now, let us click on the next button at the bottom. Now we are in step 2. Sorting order. Since the result of our query is a list of members and their phone numbers, we can leave this as is or we can order the list by member names. The base wizard allows us to sort up to four fields in the result list at a time. For now, let us click on the topmost drop-down box and click on Members Name. We can also choose if we want to sort the names in ascending 
or descending order. Let us click on the ascending option and proceed to the next step. Step 3. Search conditions. This step will help if we want to limit our result set to some conditions. For example, we can limit the result set to only those members whose name starts with the alphabet R. For this, we will click on the Fields drop-down box and then click on Members Name. Now, click on the Condition drop-down box. Notice the various conditions here. Let us click on Like. In the value text box, let us type in capital R and a percentage symbol. This is how we can introduce simple and complex conditions into our query. Let us now delete the R percentage from the value text box to list all the members and click on the next button. Please note that we have skipped to step 7. This is because we are creating a simple query from a single table and our query will return details and not summaries. Summary queries show data from aggregate functions and by grouping. Some examples are count of all the members or sum of the prices of all the books. We will learn about these later. Ok, now here let us set aliases, meaning let us provide friendly and descriptive labels or headers in the resulting list. So the name field can have an alias as member name and the phone field can have an alias as phone number. So let us type in these new aliases in the two text boxes and click on the next button. Now we are in step 8, the final step. Here let us give a nice descriptive name to our simple query. Let us type in list of all members and their phone numbers against the name of the query label. Now notice that we see an overview of our choices in the wizard. And how do we want to proceed from here? Let us click on the display query option on the top right side and click on the finish button. The wizard window has closed and there is a new window whose title says list of all members and their phone numbers. Notice that we see all the four members that we originally entered in the members table along with their phone numbers. Also, we see that this list is arranged alphabetically in ascending order. So this is our first simple query. Here is an assignment. Create a query that will list all the books in ascending order. Include all fields. Name it as list of all books in the library. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on creating queries using wizard in LibreOffice Base. To summarize, we learned how to create simple queries using the query wizard, select fields, set the sorting order of the fields and provide search criteria or conditions for a query.
Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. This project is coordinated by SpokenTutorial.org. More information on the same is available at the following link. This script has been contributed by Priya Suresh, Desi Crew Solutions, and this is Soundarya, Desi Crew Solutions, signing off. Thanks for joining.